friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lydia, the Halfling Seamstress. First of all, I must apologize for the totally clickbaity thumbnail and title that future editing Lydia will inevitably put on this video, but hey, when on YouTube, do as the YouTubers. This video is going to be more laid back and casual than my normal sewing videos in that it is completely unscripted and even I have no clue what's happening next. I bought a Victorian mystery box and I thought it would be fun to share the unboxing with all of you. This literal box of mysteries comes from Witchy Vintage. I've been following her for several months after I saw Abby Cox review a few of the pieces that she got from her and they are absolutely gorgeous. And I was perusing her website a few weeks ago, drooling over pieces that I could not possibly ever hope to afford and saw that she was offering mystery boxes, collections of clothing and accessories for study from approximately 1880 to 1920 and my little collector heart went sold. So it is $90 US with a minimum value of $180 US and she says it will include at least two pieces of clothing, an accessory, ephemera, photograph, and a piece of jewelry. And I am so excited to dig in and see what's in here. I have not opened it yet. I have not even taken a peek. It arrived on April 11th, it is now April 16th, and I actually hid it from myself for the week until I could actually get around to filming because I wanted it to be a surprise to both you and me. I realized I probably should have blanked out my address before I started filming, but I'm doing it now. Let's dig in. I have no idea what the audio is going to sound like on this video. I hear clicking. Do you guys hear clicking? I don't know. Let's open the box. <gasps> Ooh, I'm already in love with it. So there is a lovely little gentleman. His name is Dr. Day. I love collecting old photographs. My mom got me hooked on it. On our stairway going upstairs, we have both blood relations and adopted relatives, collections of photographs that we have found at antique markets and uh, garage sales, anywhere that we pick up cool, creative, funky looking antique photographs. We just love collecting them. I love it because it looks like a story. Each one of those people was a real person and they had a real life. And I find it just helps breathe more life back into history. They went to get their photograph taken and you know, I'd love to go, what was, what was the rest of their day like? They obviously got dressed up to go to the photo studio. What did they do with the rest of their day? It's fun to think about, but Dr. Day, very distinguished gentleman. And this has a date of 1893. Very cool. And oh, I am a sucker for wax seals. Anything sealed with a wax seal automatically is like, whoa. I once sealed all my Christmas cards that I was giving out with wax seals. I was. I was the extra teenager. <laughs> Always makes you feel so sophisticated opening something with a wax seal. There we go. Oh, there's extra things in here. Oh, it's a little card. Oh, I like that. Oh, and all flowers. Oh, they're so pretty. They're pretty flowers. And there's a tin type. Oh my goodness, I do not have a tin type yet. I have my own little collection of antique photos, but I don't have a tin type. Oh, she looks awesome. Oh, she looks so cool. Next. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. These are pages from La Mode Illustrée from September 19th, 1886. Oh my goodness. That is one of my collecting goals to own 
a full edition of a La Mode Illustre. And, oh, just look at it. They have kitchen stuff on the back. Oh my goodness. I do not read French at all, but this is gonna be so much fun. Look at the kitchen utensils on the back. That is seriously cool. I am, I'm a sewing geek. I'm also a kitchen geek. And so anything historical cooking related as well as historical sewing related, so my alley. Oh my goodness, her dress, the lace on there. Ooh, I have no idea what this says. I think it's a crochet instructions. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, the spread on this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Toilette de marié. Wedding gowns. I know that much. I'm going to guess there's an interview. De Pauline. It looks like an interview. I'm going to guess it's a designer, considering this is La Mode Illustre. But it'd be really interesting to get this translated and see what they're actually talking about in 1886. That will be a project for another time. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. This is like going to a antique market without actually having to go out. Okay, here we go. Now, do I open the big stuff first or the little stuff first? I'm going to open the little stuff first. Let's see what we've got because we've got two little things. This is also like Christmas meets birthday. Is this? Their little antique glasses. Paula, how did you know I've been looking for antique glasses? Oh, they are so stinking cute. And they've got like a little rubber on the edge there. Oh my goodness. There we go. I cannot see very well out of them, but very cool. When when I was dreaming about what I would find in this mystery box, there was one little part of me that was going, wouldn't it be so cool if there was a pair of antique glasses in it? <laughs> what are the odds? Oh my goodness, these are so funky and cool. Oh, I love them. And they have, there's part of a name written on it. Some of it's worn off. I'm going to go with Francis D. I think it's Francis D. Bancroft from Wa Wakensa, Wisconsin. Just guessing. That's so cool. I have antique glasses. Jewelry box. Oh, it's a locket. Oh, it's a little locket. Oh, that is adorable. 
does it very carefully, but oh, that is beautiful. I actually have a little brooch that was made from an 18th century, it's called a watchcock. And at some point in its life, it was turned into a brooch. It was very common to do that in the Victorian times. And it actually has a turquoise in the middle like this. And so now I have something I can wear with it. Oh, it's so adorable. It's so cute. All right. We are on to the last few things. Oh, this is so cool. Wait, what is it? This is... I've seen pictures of these. They're like a knitted, a knit chemise. Usually for colder days. It's got lovely little crochet edging at the bottom. It is quite small. This is its width. I mean, I know knitting does stretch, but that was definitely for a younger person or possibly even a child. It'd be definitely more child size. I love the ribbon on it. It's like a velvety, velvety ribbon. It's so cute. Very cute. And then... The audio is going to be so much fun to edit on this. Oh, it's shiny. Is it a dress? Is it an entire dress? It's an entire dress. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh, she's lovely. It is all black, but it does have a shine. And I've heard that shine means it's not morning, but I could be wrong. If anybody has more detailed information on any of these, please feel free to leave a, a comment below. I'm always looking to learn about things. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it has a little teeny tiny snap on the cuff. Lovely little sleeves. This is, I think what I've heard of described as polished cotton, and it makes so much sense now. If I were to guess, I'd say this was silk. It feels a bit like silk. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so that part was machine sewn in. The arm size. That's interesting. The sleeves were actually put in by machine. In a lot of the videos on, re on historical studies that I've seen, they put in the sleeves by hand, but this was put in definitely by machine. Got this lovely little pin tuck front, and then it closes with hooks and eyes. Skirt is so cool. Oh, okay, so it opens like this, opens at the front, and then it closes up like so, and the skirt closes like so. And the waistband was sewn down by hand. You can see the running stitches and the felling stitches there. Now, it's not wearable, but it is in lovely shape. If I were to 
guess. I mean, I am still very much in the learning stages of my historical dress journey. If I were to guess? Oh. I would guess around 1900-ish. If anyone has a better guess on the date of this dress or any of these, please leave a comment below. I am always loving to learn new things about history and would love to learn more about the new goodies in my collection. I'm going to bring up the skirt to have a look. Oh, okay. Where are we? Here's the edge. So part of the skirt was sewn on the selvage. Two parts of the skirt were sewn on to the selvage edge that was turned under. Man, they don't make selvage edges like they used to. And I love that the selvage edge was sewn with this hot pink edge. That is just the coolest. I've never seen that before, but I love it. And one side of me kind of wants to low-key replicate that. You know, nobody would see it except the entire internet if I did a video about it, but to do the seams of a skirt and just put a little bit of hot pink piping in there, <laughs> I'm getting ideas for future projects. And then it's hemmed, it's turned up, and hemmed by machine. I love that it's a black dress, but it's, it's all sewn with brown thread. I mean, black on black is hard to match, but even on the pin tucks, it's obvious it's brown. And on the felling stitches for the trim, it's obvious it's brown, but this is so cool. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be so much fun to study. I. I did not expect to get a whole entire dress. This is epic. This is definitely, definitely the best mystery box I've ever gotten. I've always been skeptical about mystery boxes. I've had some where I didn't end up liking or using half the stuff in it and going, eh. I have had my share of mystery boxes that turned out awesome and went, yeah, I will totally use everything in it. But this is, <sighs> I feel like I just went and spent a day at an antique market and picked out some awesome pieces that I chose and that I like. And it was all picked for me. And this is so cool. Oh, I love this dress. I, I'm i gonna have so much fun looking at its interior. Oh, the waistband is boned. The waistband has boning in it. How cool is that? Very narrow boning, but it does have boning in it to help maintain that silhouette. Oh, this is so cool. This is absolutely a delight. <laughs> this is so cool. This has absolutely been a hoot and a half. And, oh, hey, I'm wearing my sautoir. I could not have planned this better if I actually knew what was in this box. Because this, if you don't know, fountain pens used to be on rings. And men and women both would wear them in their waistcoat pockets. And pull them out for easy access. And so I have a few vintage fountain pens with ring tops and they're out of favor because you cannot get the sautoirs to wear them. And so my mom and I got fed up and we made a few. Ribbony kind, also steampunk kind. Look at this. I'm not gonna keep this on all the time, but that's so cute. Oh, it's so cool. So thank you so much to Paula from Witchy Vintage. I had an absolute hoot unboxing this. It is better than I could have dreamed of. Definitely my favorite mystery box of any company I've ever bought from. 
hands down, bar none. I am going to have so much fun with this. Reading through my pages of La Mode de l'Ostre and figuring out what the heck it says in French and adding my Mr. Dr. Day to my photograph collection. This was so much fun. And you know, if you like mystery boxes and if you like history, I would encourage you to check out Witchy Vintage. I've left the link to her website below. I know that as of recording, the mystery boxes are sold out, but they've been very popular, so I wouldn't be surprised if she adds them again. And if she does, I wouldn't be surprised if I buy another one because this was so much fun. I think I've said that so many times in this video, but it was. This is, this is better than I could have hoped for, and I'm gonna have so much fun looking at the details of this dress, just ogling all the little tiny details. This is how historical costumers learn more about what we do, is by studying pieces from the eras that we're studying. And right now, as of prior to this video, I only had a set of drawers and corset cover. And so I am so excited to add these little pieces to my study repertoire. And yeah, I've never done a completely unscripted video before, so I don't exactly know how to end it. But yeah, if you like history stuff, go check out Witchy Vintage and I will see you all in my next video. And suddenly I forget everything I was about to say. I bought a Victorian mystery box. A... Because I bought a... <laughs> Take three. It arrived on April 16th. It is now... No, it didn't. 